A violent gas station shooting in Birmingham turned deadly overnight as more than 150 bullets were fired in the area. Now, officers say one person identified as David Westbrook was killed and six others were injured after two groups began shooting at each other on 3rd Avenue West. While police say two men who officers saw running away and trying to toss their guns were taken into custody for questions as persons of interest, they do believe there are more suspects. And today we saw a detective in the process of trying to figure out who they are. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista has more. A Birmingham police detective Sunday gathering security camera footage from this gas station on 3rd Avenue West. The very center of the chaotic scene early that morning where seven people were shot in a hail of gunfire, one of them fatally. Businesses at this intersection were riddled with bullet holes. I was asleep and I just heard a lot of gunshots. So it woke me and my wife up because it sort of scared us. We hear so much. It didn't really, really pay no attention. It just kept going on, going on. When we spoke to this Greymont neighborhood resident who didn't want to be identified, he said he hadn't slept since around 2 a.m. Sunday when police say the shootout between two or more groups with more than 150 rounds fired started. Investigators believe there were dozens of people gathered on 3rd Avenue West when the gunfire erupted. We've seen all the police tape everywhere because we in the video camera. She's seen all the lights and stuff everywhere. When officers received the shot spotter alerts bringing them to this busy Greymont intersection, they found a car that had crashed into a utility pole. Inside, police say the driver was found shot. He was later pronounced dead. Across the street, officers found another man lying unresponsive in the gas station parking lot. He was rushed to UAB Hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police later learned five men who had been shot on 3rd Avenue West later showed up at area hospitals by private vehicle. They are expected to be okay. While two men who were caught running from the scene and trying to toss their guns were taken into custody as persons of interest, Birmingham officer Truman Fitzgerald says this is just the start of the investigation. What led to these shots being fired, tracking down who was responsible and bringing justice to all the victims? And that was Gladys Bautista reporting. Now, police say they believe because there were so many people out, there's someone who knows something. They ask anyone with information to come forward.